In this video we're going to talk a little bit about tables in Confluence and how they work and what you can do with them. So let's jump into Confluence and take a look at tables. So like always let's start with a new page. So let's call this tables and to add a table we use the table macro or we use the table. Like so. And by default, we get three columns and three rows. And we can change the width of this, or we can just change the width of the tables. So it's optional which one. But for now, let's just keep it as small. So by default, you also get a header table. So if I start writing something here, it will be in bold status. And it will be, uh, let's call this one on stuff and date like so and then we can add content to each row now to add columns or add uh, rows you might see that we have small dots uh, on the top and on the side so if you hover over one of the dots like over here it will actually give you a plus sign and it will allow you to insert a column and if you do that the columns will automatically resize and if you can also drag between the different columns and also uh, you can push all of them like so now if you prefer to have the uh, the headlines uh, on the uh, the other axis then you under table options here you have the options then to remove header row and then it will be white again and then you can set it to header column and then it will be over here but for this purpose let's just add header column uh, or header row so we have it there and if you have a large number of tables it's very common that you want to have them numbered and as you can imagine if i add one here that says has the number and then i do one and two and then i add one here and uh, things will get a little bit weird and you have to remake all of these so in confluence you actually have a table option that says numbered column so if you add that one you will automatically get one here and if you add more here just to illustrate then it will actually recalculate the numbers so it will automatically keep your numbers in order <clears throat> for each row or for each cell you see that you get a little drop down here so you can manipulate the content in this specific cell so you can change the color of the cell you can insert more columns or rows and you can also distribute columns or even clear the cells so you can actually blank it out now if you mark two cells then you will actually get more options so you can actually get merge cells so now they will be uh, just like you do it in other uh, tab tabular systems you can actually merge them together and you can of course do this on multiple so you can have the entire row going red or you can actually have the entire row merged if you want that now just to remind you, if you merge like this, then you don't have the function later on to actually sort on columns. So just be aware of that one. So if we publish this one now, just so you can just see what it looks like when it's published. You see that we have, this is what I meant, so you can sort based on column here. And each of them will be sortable. And you also see that if we have too many uh, columns, then it will actually give you a scroll bar. So this, if you want to get room, uh, rid of this one, you can either uh, reduce the cells or you can stretch it out so it will actually uh, show the full width. So you still get a little bit of a scroll. And also if you want to get rid of the entire uh, table, uh, you can either click there and do delete and then you will empty all the content or you can click here and remove the entire table. So there you have it for tables. Uh, there are some new functionality also that I'm going to show in another video where you can actually get 
different graphs based on the content in your table. But that's the video for another time. So for today, I hope you enjoyed this very short uh, instruction about tables. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have more videos, short videos like this for Confluence, for Jira and Jira service management uh, in the future. And if you like that kind of content, you might want to check those out. So until next time, I hope you have a great day.